My stammer, I can't ever remember not um, having one. When I was five, I literally went to bed one night and woke up the next morning and I had a stammer. I got really badly bullied. I took everything to heart. I didn't speak as much. I kind of didn't speak out with my family. So things would be written down, I would just pass notes. When I was at secondary school, we had to choose our options before you did exams. And I wanted to do with chemistry and biology. And my guidance teacher had asked if I wouldn't mind trying drama. Not a chance am I doing drama that I'll, I'll have to stand on a stage and speak to people. And I did it for six months. And it was my drama teacher at school that had said, do you know uh, when you're on stage and you're, a, and you're in character that uh, you don't stammer, N not even once. I applied for uh, uni, came down here for an, inter an interview. And as soon as I walked th th through the door, I knew this was where I was supposed to come. The people on my course were really understanding and that helped me grow so much. Like I, I am truly thankful for the time that I've spent down here and that it was one of my interview questions. Where do you see yourself in five years time? And it just rolled right off my tongue. I um, see myself having my own theatre school for kids and adults with additional support needs. I started off uh, with a handful of kids and I now have over 100 members. It was about giving my time back and my skills back. And I think if, if I'm able to help uh, one person do something that they couldn't do, I've done my job. These were the best years in my life. If I didn't come here and st st study what I did, I th think I would be a completely different person.